Do you have a weak flushing or stopped up toilet? Well, stick around. I'm gonna show you how to figure out what the problem is, do it yourself, and save you a lot of money. Let's go. Before we get started, don't forget to click the like, subscribe, and bell notification for the latest HE content. And also, because I know your time is valuable, I made sure to put the topics in the description below so that you can go directly to the topics you want to know a little bit more about. So let's get started. So we're back inside of the, of the half bath. And as you can see, the toilet water level is so low. But at this point, it doesn't matter because I'm going to cut off the water line, cut off the water supply from the water line and then drain all this water that's inside of this uh, toilet, drain it out. And because I'm gonna turn off the water, it's not going to refill. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And the water line is right here. All right, as you can see, hopefully you can see the, <clears throat> the, the water line right here. So only thing I'm gonna do, most water lines are simple like this. You just turn it the opposite direction of where it is already. So you turn it the opposite direction all the way until it stops and you turn the water line off. All right, so next we're gonna flush the toilet and drain all this water out that's inside of the toilet. Really the only thing I need to do is hold the latch down. And once I hold the latch down, this flap is gonna stay open and it's gonna keep dra draining the water. So let's just do that and save some flushes. So what I decided to do was go ahead and use this plunger to plunge out the rest of this water that's inside of the toilet. I got it down very low. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I can get the rest of it out. I was hoping I could, but I don't know if I can. I'll try to flush it one more time. Nothing happens when I do that. I'm, I'm gonna take these pliers and try to grip, try to grip the uh, connection with this. Um, let's see how it works. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna grab at the top part, the plastic part. And go counterclockwise. There you go. So the next step is to take the screws that really attach the toilet to the floor, which is right here. We gotta take this off, which is just a cover. There you go. Take that bolt off that's attaching it to the floor. This is not even on tight, so that's gonna be easy to do. I can do it with my hands. Great. And then have some washers and some seals. So we'll keep that on the, to the side if we decide to use it again. All right. Then we just go to the other side. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure if I was blocking it with my phone or not, but it's off now. This is the bolt. This is the bolt and the and the seals and the rings that came off of it. All right, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. That's pretty much it. The only thing that's holding this toilet to the floor is the seal, the caulk, which is this white stuff that's around the toilet on the floor. And that's not, that's not heavy. I just wiggled the toilet and I loosened it up already. So we're going to loosen it up some more. Okay, you see it move. So it's off the floor now. So I'm going to just try to pick it up a little bit. So here's a new toilet seal that I purchased. We're gonna replace this wax seal with a non-wax rubber seal. 
and hopefully that installation will be a lot easier and less messy. There you go. Okay. I had to figure out where the bottom of this thing was and I finally figured it out. So it's, I'm actually pulling it up now. All right, take that off. This is what I come up with. All right, so let's put on the toilet seal ring. It's pretty much two pieces and some screws and bolts. So first, you're gonna take out the old screw. And the way you do that, you just slide it over. Slide it over until you get to this opening. It's kind of like a slot. Ah, let me try to grab it for it. I lose it. Gotta turn it. All right, you can pull it out. So you take both of these out on both sides. That's simple. Next, we're gonna put the new ones in here. Looks like this. But you do the same thing, you just slide it back in the opposite way. Put it into the slot and you turn it and position it wherever you want to position it. I've already installed the, the new screws that goes in the slots. So now I'm just going to put the rubber seal on here. And then put these plastic rings on here. I don't know if you can see that, but whatever. Plastic rings on it. And so what's next is we have to install the toilet. So I cleaned the floor a little bit. <clears throat> now I'm about to try to slide this toilet on to the floor, to the seal. And I'm trying to do it by myself, so we'll see how that works. Let's go. back on so I'm going to screw it down and then plug the water line back up and test it use this plier to tighten the nuts up that's gonna secure the bowl to the floor they're on both sides so I already screwed it down and now I'm just gonna tighten it up so next the only thing we're gonna do is plug this water line back up and then turn the water on. All right, so we're done with that. Now we're just gonna turn the water on. So just turn it the opposite way. And now you hear the water. And now you can see the water going back in the, in the uh, tank. So at the same time, water comes in to the bowl of the toilet. Last but not least, we gotta cock the floor to the toilet. So I cut it in like a 45 degree angle and I'm just gonna push it out. All right, push it out and start going around the toilet with it and let it dry. And that's pretty much it. All right, I am done. The toilet is back in its rightful place. 